Pardon? <clears throat> oh, this goddamn planet. You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough, but I forgot what a dust crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, uh, what do you need? You project personnel? Supplies are for project personnel only. Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. But sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city. So, um, thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, would hate to see anything happen to them. Now, what was it you needed? No more reliable hardware in the galaxy. Anyone who has spent time in the United Colonies space has, of course, 
Now I understand why the stories persist. You! Inside the barriers! Double time! You with the Xeno unit? You're heading to command! Far end of the compound! I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an eclectic group. You must have really shined out on the fringe to get assigned a task like this. Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Doom. I no need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you, as does the urgency of your mission, so I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's for good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sinan's father bombed its spaceport, has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, we'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations, then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. And I do believe there's someone waiting for you there, Captain. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Aceles plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though, I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. All right. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city. to have something. Make sure you had the best tools for the task at hand. Now, if you'll excuse me. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Literally. Give him one for me, all right? Is something amiss? If there's anything you need, I am happy to share.
hello. I keep whatever you... Never been one to shy. That is all. Very well.
these samples collected. All right. Now hand those over to Kaiser, and let's get out of here. Samples secure. Nice work. Now, earlier scan picked up a valid Terramorph sample, but, well, it's in the spaceport. And the quick route there looks like it got blasted when the port did. There are steam tunnels under the city, which will allow us to access the spaceport. What do you... That, that's right! Kaiser, how did you know that? I... am not sure. Percival, you see any better option? Not from where I'm standing. Then we've got our answer. Access unlocked. We may proceed. This is Lazarus plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. It can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. <gasps> Real marvel. All these leeches. What's keeping you things warm? some of the only what's what's happening captain are you seeing this ah! oh my god the heat leeches are terramorphs but heat leeches infest every settlement, every corner of the settled systems. That means that every single one... Oh, no. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then... With time, they transform. We... We just found out how terramorphs move between planets. Pretty Major is right. But if what we just saw... If that's possible... The Lazarus plant. It's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph. A heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other, in an instant. But that means, if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city, or even multiple leeches, into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing. Get after it! We may proceed. Go!
on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. I wonder where they could have gotten such an idea, deploying alien life forms as weapons. I wouldn't be shocked to find out our team, in part, inspired the approach. But our group never dealt with something that could have an effect like this. It makes some sense, actually. Tau Seti was likely their first test. Someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the Cabinet to do something about the Terramorphs. These attacks... I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. They certainly were. But having this answer will... It raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more Terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way. I am unable to provide sufficient power to the lock mechanism. Anyone got ideas where we could get some extra juice? Local power looks like it was controlled in the security office. Upper floor. Captain and I can scout it out. Kaiser, see if you can't find another way to get it open. Roger that. I have restored power to the office entrance. You may proceed. Place to pieces. 
saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people. Condemned this city to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. He was a... was... I sincerely hope you are not suggesting he was justified in his actions. I would not wish to associate with someone who felt he did the right thing. A calculated loss. These soldiers for the rest of the galaxy. That sounds exactly like what my father would do. But it doesn't. It can't justify slaughter. But I guess... I guess that's just another part of his sick legacy now. He thought he was protecting us all. Taking the secret to his grave. Only he didn't succeed. Now someone else knows about the Lazarus plant and is using it exactly how he feared. Right. Settled systems are counting on us. Possible target. What the hell? 
things, but now to call in those creatures, I think I can nullify them. But I'm gonna need some help. There should be some radar who have been powered up now around the board. You get those online, and I'll relay my signal through there. that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. frantic on the comms towards the end there, but it sounded like this was a success. 
Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vey Victus knew about this damn plan? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. But it's clear someone knows about the plant and realized what ends it could be put towards. Captain, we need to get these samples back to the lab and verify we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But in the interim, do you think you could look into what we uncovered? See if you can turn up any information on who might have committed the attacks? If it were me, I'd start at the scene of the crime. New Atlantis. Thank you, Captain. Once you finish your investigation, we'll meet you outside the Cabinet Chambers. They're gonna wanna hear this. Take care of yourself. No telling who might be involved. Will we be stopping for food? I would not mind trying something, and there are plenty of options. I do not spend as much time here as some of the others, but I appreciate that I was still given my own room. Greetings, citizen. Welcome to the UC.
Supplies, personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. Was there 
any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter... She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. Why would I want to be in the good graces of the people who control my very life? I don't know, Captain. Maybe I still dream of a life outside these walls someday. A new face would be needed, of course, but it wasn't an impossibility. Though now, I'm not so sure. It wasn't easy. But the beauty of being loathed is that people will do whatever they can not to deal with you. They wanted to pretend I didn't exist. And so I used their blind eye to my advantage. Still, Establishing a back channel to Orlais via the UC recovery teams was painstaking work. I've led campaigns less nerve-wracking. They believed they were luring in wanted criminals, but were in fact delivering precisely encoded slates, filled with instructions invisible to any but their recipient, dropped off at just the right moments to fall into the proper hands, all without the UC realizing whom you were actually dealing with. Slow work. But as you can see, ultimately effective. Can't remember the many lives you've taken. <laughs> Orlais was the man whose death you brought about around the moon of Etheria. The pilot of the Warlock. The man I had to eliminate. To hide my secret. Captain, please. You've benefited here as much as I have. Maybe more. It's why I had Orlais reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the Cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. Something befitting the dedication to the colonies you two have shown. While, of course, they can't give you a command, responsibility like that has to be earned. The Cabinet does have access to... considerable resources. I expect you'll be quite pleased with the result. And none of it would have happened without my intervention. I'm simply looking for you to acknowledge the truth. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the Cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the Cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do still have a
a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. And how many have you killed to get where you are now? There are no great works that don't cost lives, Captain. Whether it's winning a war, or digging a tram tunnel. So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. That seems like a fair exchange to me. I only hope you'll see the same, and leave my name out of the discussions to come. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the Cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Any leads on who might have committed the attacks? That seems unlikely, considering he's been dust for about 20 years. I'm sure the Captain just misspoke. Right? No, no, that's impossible. He's gone. My father is dead. The Colony War Butcher lives, unfortunately. That's about the understatement of the century. A couple of choice four-letter words came to mind for me. Alive. Fay Victus is alive? How... How did you find him? Wait, you knew he was alive and didn't tell us? You were sworn to... You... You swore. You were just doing your duty, weren't you? Yeah, I guess I, of all people, should know what a burden that can be. Doesn't mean I'm not mad. But I guess you letting us know late is preferable to never. Now at least we can inform the Cabinet and let them deal with him. I honestly don't know. If it were me, I'd make damn sure he never spoke to another human being again. But... I may be a bit less than impartial. But for the wanton murder of civilians, 
I doubt anything's off the table. I'm sure he did, but he killed dozens of people, and I'm not about to let him get away with something like that. But now, now I guess we've got our answer. Nothing left to do but put it all in front of the cabinet. Any last things we needed to discuss? This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. It's hard to know. Unlike my father, the cabinet aren't butchers. But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he's done, is unforgivable. But if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lenient. They might be willing to spare him. Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Asilis seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So, I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in, see if they have a preference. And here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? This report comes from a particularly confidential source both you and I are familiar with, yes. Among the reasons its findings are so alarming. Now, is it true? Was the attack on New Atlantis planned? My God. An attack? Using terramorphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? Well, ma'am, it seems your report is incorrect. Francois Sanon was responsible for the attacks. He did what? That's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... 
Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now that's quite the accusation your group is leveling. Seeing as Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed. A terror out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Heavens help us. It is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt that Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject, once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the Colonies by not dealing with Vey Victor sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. It's well past due. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives, but it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the Cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Well. Luckily, the natural hostility of Londinian makes keeping out trespassers relatively easy. But we'll ensure its growth is contained, that access to the plant is only permitted via highly regulated clearances, and that our true presence on Londinian is increased. I'm glad you think so. So then, to our final topic. The cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph and now also heat leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter.
I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. The first step in a bold new future. Bolder, better, and brighter. <laughs> well, I need to write that one down for later. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies or done great things for its cause. Class Ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned.